pres I'm personally really curious about this because I can never imagine how this happened to me. Like, yes. what kind of situation would it be? Or what if it happened? What if it happened to you? Or if I like how women feel at that time? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think is. I'm not a woman, so I cannot say much how I would feel, but I guess it's general is bad because it's, it's I would say is uh, synthesizing women are just how they look, simplifying everything. So I think that's the reducing <coughs> someone to yeah, what they appear. So I think that's what they do because it's. First is also privacy that is being impacted, and I think more than the cat calling is the fact that nobody wrongs anything to the guy that is cat calling. I think yeah. that's that's uh, in today's society the worst for women because they feel like nobody cares. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think that's if I was a woman, I think that would be the thing that would strike me. Yeah, for guys, the behavior without any cost, like they just do this. Yeah, yeah. They will punish them. But I think I I think it was in France a few years ago. There was a there was a, an event like that. <coughs> there was, was filmed that a, a guy was catcalling a woman, and the woman went to him and slapped him like really bad. And uh, the guy then came again because he was pissed off and stuff and created a big issue and. That put cat coding by because if you have no one to say anything, then how can you condemn yeah. or do anything about it? No. But a very interesting concept. I wonder what like what you're thinking when, when you're you out. Like, is, is it a sense of flirting or I, I don't? Really yeah, I don't think. understand why. Like, what is your achieve? What are you? What you're trying to achieve? achieve yeah. I don't. To be honest, I don't understand anything about it really. In the sense that why it happens or what someone would feel like when it's happening, because it's never, it doesn't usually happen to guys, I guess. And I, I was talking to one of my friends, and she said that cackling itself isn't what is what she hates about it. It's the fact that she always thinks what happens next. You know, like oh. catcalling, although being yelled at something, it doesn't necessarily have to be that it's going to lead to something. But it's not mentally; it can lead to what's going to happen next. Is he going to come up to me? Is he going to talk to me? Is he going to Mm. violate my personal space even further um, and I never thought about that before and it really, I really understood how, how horrible it is like it's anxiety really because of that exactly like you're inflicting a lot of anxiety in like one specific moment and yeah, yeah but, uh, I, I think to add on that is also the, the moment it happened the environment it is if it's in the middle of the day with a lot of code I think it's less anxious than if it's uh, at, at night. night, or there's less people, and stuff becomes what would happen next? And I think it's that that is creating that kind of thing. But just like for, for the men who behave like this, or generally like people who are in lower class and they don't have like proper ways to approach women, like they can just only use this kind of extreme ways to achieve. Maybe I don't some think it's a class issue, to be very honest. I don't. Like, I mean, it's, I mean, Okay, I'll take the con I'll take I'll take the example of India, for example, right? Mm -hmm. um, India, at least from in Delhi, it's very it's yeah it's it's like Delhi culture basically, if, especially if you're rich, and if you're a guy who's to get good. Yeah, guy, yeah, it's not it's not a class thing. It's not that it's, you're it's rich, definitely you're not poor. A class thing. It it's not a class thing. It's it may be in certain areas, but in general, I don't. I, I, don't I think know. it's more to do with lack of education, maybe or maybe not education in the sense lack that of not sensitivity, being sensitivity. Yeah, it's just, it's just yeah, education simple. in you're terms not, of sensitivity. You're not taught what the other side thinks, regardless of gender, regardless of race, regardless of whatever. There are the times you're not taught how to sort of think of think of what any other person in, in that particular situation would feel like. And as long as that's missing, you're going to be desensitized to everything that happens, and be it gender, be it whatever else. Yeah, but why so would rich people in India do that? Like, because they feel they can get away with it. Because the it's fact that they're rich and they have money means they can do anything they want. No, get and they it's, can get it's away an entire cultural something. aspect, right? You're brought up in a way which tells you that you are the best and that you can get whatever you want. And that's exactly what you sort of then go around thinking in your mind. No, and it's also to do with gender roles, right? So, yeah, for example, well. in India, gender roles are very, very prominent regardless of what class of society you're from. So, for example, um, uh, if so guys are supposed to conventionally study sciences we're not supposed to 
look at um, uh, the humanities subjects or social sciences. We're not supposed to do that because that's something that girls traditionally do. So, for example, when my my sister's an English major, right, and um, when my parents, when we're at a family gathering or whatever, and people ask, oh, what's your daughter doing? And they tell them that, you know, she's an English major, she's going to apply for her PhD. They're like, oh, you know, they make a judgmental thing because, first of all, she's a girl who's not doing science. She's a girl, first of all. Then she's not studying a science, which is a respectable subject. And then she's doing English, which is deemed more useless, I would think is the correct word. And then, you know, and then she, so for example, if she wants to be, um, she wants to apply for a PhD and then become a professor. And then she wants to enter teaching, which is an even more lowly job as well. So I think it's a lot to do with gender roles as well. What can you do about it, very honestly? You can I think impose as many laws as you want. You can have all sorts of legislation. But the thing is that if you're not changing the mindset... Yeah, that people are being brought up and, and how do you change a mindset? I, I think, think mindset, you go through education. Yeah, education. And not just regular school education, right? It's about sort of cultural education, cultural I guess, education, maybe, definitely. in the sense that understanding... See, in school, okay, I'll give you an example. In school, at least in a lot of our schools, we're, we're, we're taught all about gender equality and whatever else and how to respect every other individual as well. That's it. it a lot of the families sort of that uh, bring up these uh, children or whatever... They have contradictory experiences at home. In school, they're being taught to respect individuals and whatever else. And in, at home, there's a very sort of patriarchal sort of setting. Right? Now, which one of these is the, is the, is the child more inclined to go with? What you're being surrounded by at, in your home environment or what you're being taught maybe six hours in school and then you go home? Yeah, it does take time to have a cultural and societal change. But in the meanwhile, while you're undergoing that cultural and societal change, you should have strict laws against, for example... Uh, for example, in India, domestic violence wasn't a term in the Indian Penal Code until the 1980s. We did, you couldn't be criminally liable for domestic violence. You need yep. stricter laws until you have that yes, societal change. Yes, you need change. to have yeah. stricter laws, but you also need to give some flexibility because uh, how can you make... Uh, how do you ask a 70-year-old to now change totally what he's yeah, doing? Definitely, that definitely. I've been doing for seven years, that I've been legal and stuff. So that's why I say strict laws, yes, but strict laws is not that effective because in the end it might be also counterproductive because on, I would say the public opinion is going the other way around. And I think that's uh, one of the issues today is that uh, sometimes the policy have been too far, too fast. Um, at least from like, from like, for, for my parents or like for the people I've known, there's never been like an issue with men crying, but admittedly like, yeah, it would be more surprising to actually see a man crying rather than like a woman. But otherwise, I think there's no like judgment on it from my experience, <coughs> whether it's public or private. I think there's definitely more judgment if a man yeah, cries. Is, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not like people wouldn't like, uh, I mean, I, wouldn't mind it, but yeah, it would actually like be more surprising. Yeah, that's true. Then what do you say that, as you have been said before, that Things if a uh, woman cries, not seen as weak, but if a guy cries, seen as weak. That's completely to do with gender roles, I think, yeah. because women are yeah, supposed you, to be. You think is it, it should not exist, or you think that it have a, a function and in a way it should be kept? I don't agree with it at all, in the sense that. In function as in what? Function of crying or like? No, I mean, I think is there is also a comfort for society and just seeing that okay, men don't cry, the safety men are strong. Thing is, uh, okay, if we're weak, then like, or if there is an issue, we have like a safeguard. That we have, we have, like, we'll be safe if we don't cry. No, no I mean someone that don't cry. Ah, okay, okay. I mean okay. someone I think that, that sense. don't cry. It's oh, if you, you wouldn't necessarily have to limit it to it being a man or a woman. So if you're saying you don't see people cry, you feel safer? Yeah, yeah. Or? Somebody yeah because if you see yeah. like, a lot of people crying, you'd be sad as well, I guess. No, I mean, it's like, that's understandable. I think it's like an ancient mean of subjugation, kind of what you were saying in the previous section, that like, when women are crying, it's seen as fine, because, I mean, crying is seen as like a weak trait. And yeah, in general, I you're, you're kind of putting women into that booth of being... But they're also weak, so it's fine that they're cry they have this weak trait. Whereas if a man who's supposedly strong and like yeah, protecting society or whatever, 
if he's crying, then he's like put in this weak booth as well, and that's more surprising. Yeah, that, and definitely. I think that's like the, the general risk that is probably it's weird that men are crying. More men would kill another man than women would kill another human being. Why, why do you say that though? Like, because what's your reasoning behind it? I'm curious. I think it's just like a traditional rule as well. Like, it's not. I mean, it's just no. like that's how it's been for a long time. Of course, like. No, I'm not saying women cannot do it. I think that. Yeah, no, I know that's not what you're saying, but that's how it's been for like obviously a long time. Yeah, but like, I think it's it. because it's symbolizing yeah. something that is like really rooted and really long into human as a whole, everyone still sees going to war as a main stuff. And uh, nobody, no society, even the women, I think even if the most democratic uh, society, if you say, okay, now to go to war is going to be men and women, it's not going to be accepted. That's the like tradition we need. But that's to do it, that's to do traditional gender Israel, Israel rules. Right? Israel is doing it. Israel, Israel does it. Israel, Israel man, has managed to show both men and females. Norway. But wait, I'm confused. You so regarding the you said that crying men, men not being able to cry is a necessary evil, right? No, not being able to cry, but the stereotype that men cry less in public. Yeah, like, is a necessary. Is not yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that is right, but this understanding is important when after you ask them to go. You ask, you give them a role that's necessary to have that. So like today, since I they have to see them as though like they're a pillar, like having them cry would basically like bring down this sort of image of them being. Like, but why yeah, do you I mean, see no, like your? I mean, if no, you ask course, them to go, go, if you ask them, them to, to go to war and to give their life to protect like the other, then it makes sense and necessary that in rewards no. you give them a special place. But when so you're not saying that you give them no. like a free pass for everything, but like. A stereotype, I mean, is not the worst thing in the world. But I think the example that you use, um, the military, is very, very limited. Yeah, um, yeah I agree. And like, yes, very, but very few men like, like in our day and age actually go to war and actually fight. And will actually, like as you said, we need that as a necessary evil. Why does it have to be men crying in public? Why can't it be like anyone? Anyone crying, crying right? Yeah. I, that's, I, do under, I do totally understand where you're watching. Because, from, because... Why gender in there? Because, yeah. mm. be, because of what I, I said with the <coughs> army is that you uh, there is some form of gender role in society that <coughs> I think is needed. I think that uh, okay. tomorrow is good if you have a fifty percent male, fifty percent woman army. If you have a fifty percent male, fifty percent army, you have the same training, the same, the same. Uh, I would say. Um, the same equipment, the same training, everything the same. The only thing that is changing between your two armies is that one is 50% male, the other is 50% woman. But women, I mean, the men will crush the women. It's just purely no, physical, no, no. and that's I science. Think warfare isn't wrestling in a mud pit anymore. It's way more technological, and women are mentally, <laughs> biologically, way better at handling grenades, tanks, all these technical because they have better biological features to do so. Yeah. They're way more accurate than men are. Because of this, just dodge strong. Yeah, but in the end, when you go on one on one, uh, yep. <laughs> you need to ensure the survival of your society, the survival of your people. In the end, it's better to lose men than to lose women. But are you ever? Uh, is there any situation in the foreseeable future where you're gonna have to decide whether a man's life is more valuable than a woman's in society? That's never going to happen. It. I don't even yeah. think it's ever happened in history. Uh, it al always happened. It Why always happens. did we send a guy to fight and kept the woman and we ensured the safety of the woman? We don't send them on the battlefield. Yeah. When you lose millions of people on the battlefield, how in the end you're able to make for that loss back <coughs> into your society? Because women were still here, so by the force of nature, more babies, baby boom, were done. <laughs> I doubt 18th or 12th century kings were like, oh, women are more worth than men. It was rather the opposite. It was <coughs> no, your, but your idea of men being stronger in battle. So yes, let's send them. Yes, but no, that, I, that is one reason. And also because, I mean, I don't see why you, you cannot see that. I, I get what you're saying. But the thing is, to me, at least morally speaking, the cost of a life is a life. It doesn't matter if it's a man's life or a woman's life. Hashtag yes, people. Sure. You should not look at it. Like, that's, that's my opinion on it, at least. 
<clears throat> I don't think it matters, to be honest. Uh, actually, yeah. I was wondering why you were thinking that, like, it was a necessary evil. It matters! No, no, actually, what you're saying is, like, basically, that's the reward that men get because of this <coughs> evil or something. Yeah, so, because you... But I don't know, to come back to, like, the crying question, because actually, I was wondering why, like, you... Because like, you, you, you give them... You, you ask them to sacrifice in a way, so they need to be rewarded so in the reward? society. The reward is that oh, the reward is that they're seen as strong. No, again, yeah, I get where you're coming from. Really from. So, like, so I don't think it's a reward no, to be but, seen as strong. Like, I but to, them, to, to the so man who wants to be seen yeah. as strong, being seen as strong That's is a issue. reward, right? It it confirms his image of himself. If they want to be, but th that's not then the why case. Do, okay, the same, same, why, do you, so why do you go to school? Why do you do studies? Because society uh, rewards that because you're seen as smart, you have a status in society. It's exactly the same. No, I mean, there's a, I think it's definitely on both sides, even if it's like subconscious. There is like a sort of like... Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously. Of course, so why but, don't you... Not the only reason why do you accept it No, because me. you're saying basically like the reward is like being seen as like strong and everything, like, and like the status and everything. But I think you need to also take into consideration, into consideration like the internal like feelings of like each person, even though you're saying like the reward is like this external like status. If you go in the mind of someone that works every day, Maybe a, yeah, it's completely a different. It's that completely doesn't different. have that level of reflection. That's <coughs> what we're talking about. Because yes, all we all agree about women and stuff. But you need to be in the mindset of people that do not have the same chance as us, do not have the same education, do not have the same background, and that's why I think it's important sometimes to simplify the situation. So here, when you you didn't want to take a situation about. Uh, uh, you didn't want to take a decision and uh, what I was saying, could you send to the battlefield? Yeah. You now want to take a, you're saying that, yes, but women, is, if they accept their status, okay, that's kind of reflection and questioning goes far above their head. I, I understand why you're trying to simplify. I think, like, I it, think, okay, I, I, think I, I get what you're saying, also, like, but I think different also. people would take different decisions based on their different background. Don't say that because <coughs> they're women means they're women. I'm not saying because of men, they will be strong. What I'm saying is a stereotype that has a function, and that is necessary in life. I, I understood. Think that's okay, you, but I you wait, make, wait, this, wait, statement, no, you make this statement completely cognizant of all the repercussions that it has, at which we discussed. No, wait, I have one yes, question as well. I think it's not <coughs> so is this no, necessary hold even? On, hold on, Just one second. Yes, it's necessary, but uh, what I'm saying is that... Do you is, does uh, this justify the cost? No, because okay, that's... The cause is that for a long time we were saying that men are strong and do not cry. Women give birth to baby, they're good mother. And that is all in the wording because the wording gives you, it, it symbolizes stuff. If I'm not saying it's fixed, I'm saying that it's a stereotype. It's not saying that all the men or all the women are like this. I'm just saying a stereotype. And if you accept that stereotype, it means that you accept that it's not a fatality, it's not... Something because for a long time we for those like core issue it was a fatality it was the only way the mm -hmm. only uh, situation we accepted that's why we created the system. What I'm saying that it's good to fight the system we're in, but we should not tear apart the roots of the system. We just need to properly define it. I was interested by one thing you said, which I didn't fully understand. Like I understand how. Um, uh, you can see machismo to be a necessary evil in terms of military and how it appeals to men. It appeals to them, it makes them want to join the military, want to serve their nation and whatever. What I don't understand is how <coughs> gender stereotypes for women are a necessary evil. That I didn't get. Because you said that as well, I think. Yeah, because... In particular, you talked about... Men and women are equal, I think is the biggest mistake we do. To say that... Men and women are just, are not have not the same worth. That's the mistake. Women and men are equally worth, but okay. the equal is totally different. So it's not the equal is is a term that is trying to simplify and trying to say we're exactly the same. That's wrong. We're different. Yeah, biologically, naturally, biologically yeah, we're but different. different. And but would you place but a we different have the same okay. value? That's important. We have the same value. So if we're equal in terms of values, but. After we're different, so that's normal that we do not have exactly the same, I would say, role, the same distribution of jobs or anything in, in society. Because but it's wrong to say <coughs> that some aspects, some jobs, some place, wherever in society, are forbidden for any gender. That's so, wrong. So I have but a question for you it, then. It's yeah. is okay to, it's acceptable to say that, 
I don't know, uh, men uh, that you don't have the same distribution of men and women, of gender distribution in that sector and that stuff. And, uh, I mean, so I have a question for you. You say the value is not equal, right? No, so the value is equal. The value is equal of a man's life and a woman's life to society. No, but no, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, so you're saying it's not equal, right? No, what I'm saying, when we say men or women are equal, is, it means nothing. It's, it's simplifying something. They have the same value. Value in sense that not one is not more valuable in terms of skills to the society. I think my point for you is that you should not look at the, social, the needs of a society. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Sorry. You should look at the, I'm so sorry. The gender is not only about society. Yes. So guys, I think do that's, you want, that's, that's change society because no, no, I think that's the main issue, issue so and so. whatever is not just women gender is in general that sometimes. You do not have, you should not, and must not do what society want, but what society need. The issue is that a lot of people mistake what they want with what society need.